Now to address the persistent issue of child abuse and molestation in schools, an non-government organization, Cesiara Child Advocacy Center for Equipped Over, has equipped over 200 educators with the necessary tools to identify and respond to instances of abuse. This training aims to combat this concerning trend. Plus, the news correspondent Love Oyedoko reports that the educators learn how to recognize potential indicators of sexual abuse in children, enabling early intervention and support. The training held at the Ajeromi Ifeludu Local Government Hall equipped educators with vital skills to recognize and respond to signs of sexual abuse. Through a series of expert-led presentations and interactive workshops, participants gained valuable insights on this crucial topic. It's children's fundamental human rights for them to be protected. And one of the peculiar dynamics of child sexual abuse that makes it different from other crimes is that it's difficult to detect. And oftentimes, what you have the perpetrator saying is not guilty, even when they are caught red and dead. It's a crime committed in secrecy, with only the um, victim and the survivor as witnesses. And it has a way of destroying children. It hinders the full um, self-development of children. The professional development session provided detailed instructions on reporting suspected abuse, ensuring educators are prepared to act in accordance with legal and ethical guidelines. Strategies were discussed to foster secure, supportive school environments and prevent abuse, promoting student well-being. The training emphasized the critical importance of vigilance and preparedness among educators. Child sexual abuse has both short-term and long-term impact. Most of us are only aware of the short-term impacts like unwanted pregnancy, wounds, bleeding, sexually transmitted infection. But the long-term impacts like deficient oppositional behavior, depression, suicidal additions, poor interpersonal relationship skills, poor academic performance, compulsive um, eating disorders, hormonal imbalance, insomnia, um, risky lifestyles are all antecedents of child sexual abuse. The educators who attended the training session were highly appreciative of its comprehensive nature. They emphasized that the workshops and resources offered will significantly enhance their ability to better support students and address any concerns that may arise. We've been able to learn that uh, child assault and abuse uh, are more paramount, is more paramount of prevalence among those who are, who are closer to what, who are closer to the child. And so we have to be what, very careful and wary of those who are child or who the students whom they want, who they relate with. And now we have to be very sensitive about their emotions anyway, how they relate in the class. We have to be very observant of what, of those kids, of those students in the class. This program we have a multiplier, positive multiplier effect on the teachers on the, uh, the counselors, so that by the time they go back, all what they have learned, all what they have been equipped with at this program, they will be able to put them into practice, uh, teach, empathize with the students. So when we are in the streets, when we are in the schools, we're equipping these people with knowledge and we're telling them where to, what to do and where to go to. So we see that in these cases, it's just going to like reduce the cases of abuse that we see most times. The training has been incredibly informative and empowering for these participants who now feel more confident in their ability to recognize and address potential cases of abuse. This increased capability is essential for ensuring the safety of the students. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.